Who are you? Stevie Salas. And I'm Phil X, and we're talking about some famous gits. Guitars. The new famous guitars that Phil and I and Marcus Spangler designed called the Hollywood. This is the Hollywood. So they had an old design. Like, we, every time we come here, we go through books and magazines and like, what the hell is this? This is a guitar you made like 40 years ago? And obviously, we had to do some updated stuff. So it. Uh, well, hold on. You know, I'm going to elaborate on that a bit because when, when we first came over to started working on redesigning the Framus line. Yeah. All my, a lot of my rock and roll star friends, like Charlie Sexton, who plays with Bob Dylan, all these guys go, oh, I, I collect the, these old Framuses. Like a lot of the guys have these old Framuses. Yeah. And, they, and, and then you look online, they're hard to find, and they're really expensive. So we knew that in the old days, they had some amazing things going on, so we didn't want to abandon all that, right? Right, of course. And, but we wanted to update and make them more, it's like updating a Ferrari, you know, you can drive a Dino from the 70s and then a new one from whatever year this is, I forgot, 2017. I think you're right. You know, but they're both amazing and, and this car couldn't have been made without that car. Exactly. So, but, you know, it came down to, and I mean, when you come to the Warwick factory and, and you're like hanging out and they're drawing stuff and t cutting out pieces of wood, we're cutting out pieces of wood with something drawn on it. And then we eventually came up with this, this shape and we thought, would well, it be cool to have the, the hole over here, over here? So you're talking about uh, a beam going through it, a sustain bar, right? So it won't feed back. And then, and then, and then um, you got hollow sides. So it's, it's a really cool, I mean, this one has P90s. I love P90s. And uh, this blue with the, with the binding is really cool. Yeah, this one's and a I, I gotta be careful because if somebody already bought this, so I don't want to scratch it up, like with my watch, like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your endless chains and watches. And my, my, my shaker. Rock and roll. Get out of the house, it's a rock and roll! Yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, so, you know, the thing also about this guitar is with the Pantera 2. Yes. And I don't know if you did this with the XG, and I did it with the Idolmaker. We get them chubbier in the middle where the sound is. Yes. And we get them thinner on the sides. So the weight is. The weight is good. It's so sexy. There's, lot, there's just still enough wood to get a really good, cool tone. You got enough wood? Um, yeah. Man, that's wood. what she it's said. A, it's a nice, it's a, it's a, a medium-sized neck and a medium-sized headstock. Okay, so we're plugged into a JCM 800 and it's a little quiet because we're standing right beside it and we want to blow our faces off. So I just turned down a little bit to get this little, like, uh, we were like jamming some... Uh, Tune and not plugged in. Just it's no, just we're, for we're looks, half man. Step it's, out. it's just for looks, man. It's just for looks. But well, I'm just curious what you hit an E though. Just like that. Oh, I'm my way out. See? It's just for looks. Cause it comes like that too. It kinda comes any way you want it, I bet. And then uh, so that's the mid-tween thing, we more James Brown. That's the shit, though. And when I turn it up, you get the rock, man. That kind of thing. So, and it's you know the neck pickup, man. You know what's crazy? You know what's, you know what's, you know what's nuts about that? You know, it's crazy. He couldn't do any of those licks until he picked up that guitar. I just taught myself these licks. That guitar has its own ghost. It does. The ghost of... I mean, we have... A, I, was, I usually do a dive bomb, and I don't have a racial correct tuning button. Who, well, who's the greatest dead guitar players? Okay, you got Hendrix. He's great. Who else is great that's not alive? Django. So maybe that's Django Hendrix is the ghost of Django Hendrix and Hey man, Django Hendrix right here in this hit. <laughs> so um, it's got a tone control and two pickups and it sounds great and it, this is a really cool shape. It's kind of retro. We, we still remain in a retro area as far as guitar design goes. Yeah, it, we, you know, the classics are the classics. Yeah. It's, uh, you, unless you, you just want to be weird. But, um, <laughs> which we all do want to be weird. You know, you're searching like, for I mean, ways. Look at these pants. You want to find a way to be uniquely derivative. Uniquely derivative. I like that. Yeah. But 
Um, what else can we say about this guitar? Well, you can pretty much get it any way you want it, really. Yeah. It comes with, I like this paint job. This is a good paint job, man. What is I mean, that color? I, you know what, I, I'm gonna have to get the guy who bought it, I'm gonna have to get his phone number and just call him and say, hey. Say I, sorry, I scratched your guitar up. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> and we're making you another one that'll be ready in six weeks. That's right, that's yeah. right. His name is Joe. Hey Joe, where are you going with that gun in your hand? Oh, you had to do that. Come on, Django. Django Hendrix. Well, the Hollywood guitar, it's pretty impressive, it's pretty badass. Wait, it's another. Cut, wait, cut. television. Television. Wait, we were calling it the Hollywood the whole time. Because <laughs> he used. Hold on. Wait, Don't... you know what you gotta do? You gotta, like, you gotta, impu... you gotta, like, overdub. A, a little kid going, television, over his no, yeah, you, you, you edit time. this part to the beginning. You edit this part to the beginning. So for every time that we call it the Hollywood, because it used to be the Hollywood, and we redesigned it, and now it's the... The television. But I don't live in Hollywood anymore. Yeah. So you, you think I'd know that. Yeah, you think you'd know that, but it's called the television. So this television is awesome. It's ridiculous. It's pretty I mean, you cool. can't watch, um, sm like... mash on it, but you can... Once like again, though, the new famous guitars are every year now since... We released the Idol Maker and the XG. We've been slaying the Nam show. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that, guys? Slaying it. We're like uh, everybody's talking about our guitars, and Framus is like slaying everyone. And so this one's going to be at the Nam show this year, and people are going to walk by and go, "Damn." Damn. What do I got to do to get that? <laughs> who do I gotta? Who do I gotta blow? Massage. Phil X. Oh, you're married now. Those days are over. <laughs> so. Um, in closing, you want to you plug in? You want to use the nah, one that's plugged nah, in? No, no, you do plenty. You're good. I like you. That's why I bring you, so I don't have to do that shit. <laughs> okay, so um, in closing, what would you say? I say, I think, you know, Framus has uh, been really breaking some ground with some really cool guitars lately, and they just, they did it again with the, uh, with this guy. Staying true to, staying the, true to the roots? The television. But being forward with design. I think it's yeah. like a classic modern vintage. Exactly. And great paint, great, great sound, great wood. And, and the custom shop can do any finish. It's ridiculous what those guys do. They're so brilliant. With the TV guitar. Yes. Television. Yes. Play me a lick worthy of being on television. Oh, okay. So you want something fast? Let me go in my pocket. Do the slow one you do. <laughs> I'd watch that on television. Would you watch that on I'd television? I'd watch that on television. Huh? Yeah, I would watch too. How about this one? You can make 22 frets sound like 24 when you do that. Yeah, man, 20 more, 20 more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, don't scratch the guitar. All right, you got good shit there. I know, right?